Hello YouTube, so today is going to be a more interesting video. I'm going to be talking about if we can make super soldiers. But first, let me quickly like, subscribe, but let me just get some files from over here. Before we do that, we have to find out what is considered a super soldier. So let me read the definition for you. It's a super soldier or Super soldier is a concept soldier capable of operating beyond normal human abilities through technological augmentation, ranging from powered exoskeletons to advanced training regimens or in fictional depictions, genetic modification or cybernetic augmentation. We're going to be theorizing that we can do some genetic modifying or cybernetic augmentation. But this will be a very long video, I'll, I'll describe everything in the video, so there you go, like, subscribe, and enjoy. The thing that I'm going to reach the end goal of is to win every, every sport in the Olympic Games, and there's a lot of sports in the Olympic Games, but the, the super soldier we are going to make, or to theorize about, has to win every single sport in the Olympic Games. So let's start, if you want to build a super soldier, you start with the muscles. So obviously, steroids. Steroids make your muscles big, make your muscles strong. But we don't need the, 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 we don't need big muscles, we need efficient muscles. So we'll use certain steroids that help with efficiency and mix that in with efficiency training. But then there's one problem. We can't just do the muscles, otherwise your bones and your body and your regeneration, it's not going to, it's not going to add up. So we have to start from from down below. So let's start with the bones. What can we do for bones to make them stronger than there is? Well, let's see. To do this, we are going to have to give a higher bone density. And bone density comes with repeated... with If you put the bone through hard work and like beatings, it will automatically get stronger to just to come up to that level so we're going to our super soldier let's but, but let's get to the theory so we are going to take in what 17 18 year old male that's healthy that has no mental problems nothing and we're going to tell me so the first one is we're going to give him steroids but then to not we have to do the whole steroid progress to get him to use the steroids and to, to regulate all of his health his liver everything but then we will put, if we want to, just a disclaimer, this is not going to happen. But if we want to make this like the US government, we have to put him through immense pressure and strength. And then, you know, just immense pressure to get the bones to adjust to where he is or what he's going to be. Because you're going to need strong bones if you want to do the Olympic weightlifting, if you want to be strong. You need strong bones so we we've covered the bones and the steroids so next is the regeneration ability because if because for humans it generally takes what if you have if you had leg day your legs take four or five days to recover we need to get that down because that's not that's not good it, it's, it's too long we need just to get him one or two days and then back back to normal so what do we do for that? That's also steroids, but we can inject some substances like PMC, but that I'll do in the next segment. There you go. I'll show you guys that this is actually possible. I've just, I've, I went on the internet and I saw that from the National Institute of Health, the government's website, they said the first genetically gene edited babies. They're, they're, they're making they're making superhumans under our noses. And, and then you wonder, well, why, why am I not the state champion in wrestling? Th this is why. Let me read this. It is very clear that this system, that you can genetically modify babies. But then people say, it's too early, it's irresponsible. But no. Technology is way advanced, or it's way more advanced than we know, than, than people allow us to know there's probably a, a cure for a lot of sicknesses that the government 
does not want us to know about, but we're not focusing on that before I get assassinated. Uh, this is this has happened probably somewhere. Somewhere they tested it to check, okay, can we make this guy extremely strong? Somewhere. That probably happened. There's no doubt in my mind that the government has not made an extremely strong man and sent him out to the battlefield. Come on. Come on. That's not that's not impossible. That's a very likely change. You can can't you but let's move on with the video. Strength we're also gonna have to wait. This is number five. To get your shoulder as str strong as possible, it's also gonna use drugs. But not the, the, the bad drugs like cocaine, it's it's called flaca. So this happened somewhere in 2011, but this one guy, he took it and it, it, it made him super strong. It took 11 people holding this man down and he was still able to resist the sedation. So if we can make a substance that can control the flaca and give him a, a reasonable mind, he can use that strength, speed, regenerate. There you go. Super soldier. The US is, is going to watch this video and knock on my door and shoot me. But there you go, bones, muscle, strength, regeneration and speed. There you go, five stuff to make yourself. It's just gonna cost you a lot of money, a lot of people to test it on, and a lot of people are gonna hate you, probably this video too. But there you go, I just gave you the formula to make somebody who is superior. There you go, enjoy. Already two supplements that they mixed. And I'm not going to tell you guys where I found this on which website, but they found AMD 3001 and Chirocolumus. If you mix those, it, it allows you to heal faster, but they've only tested this on mice. So that's why it's going to take some time. It allowed the mice to heal fast, four times faster than regular mice. What do you think about that? We've got the bones, we've got the, the muscles, we've got the healing. That's basically already. But now we have to look at the speed. How do you get faster? How do you get faster? Yeah, it's training and all that. But is there an easier way? Is there something you can take to get faster? Let me, let's me let check. So I figured out the, 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 the speed. So when you speed or when you run, there's, the oxygen is supposed to come in through your nose, go to your lungs, and then go through your body. But they have found the substance. It's called erythropoietin, and it makes the oxygen which breathe in. You you take this pill, and then it makes the oxygen go into your body faster, which allows you to which allows you to run faster and have a, a one one up on the competition. That's why it's illegal, but we don't we don't work with the law here so we're gonna give that so it's bones muscle regeneration and then speed so we already have four of the five so but this it's for a long amount of time but what what is for short sprints that also work for short sprints but you have to be careful with some of the PEDs because some of them they they don't how can I say it? They, they make your muscles recover, but not the blood in your your body. So ethotoperitin is going to improve the oxygen. So why do you think big people with big muscles, they can't run as far? Because you need more oxygen for your muscles. So this supplement is going to help our athlete or our super soldier to be endured longer, more cardio, and be able to run faster. There we go. We already got four of the five. We already got somebody who can win half the Olympics. We're just training for three to five weeks. If you're wondering where I'm getting all these conspiracies, it's not from the Captain America movies. No, it really happened. And this is on military.com. Let me read this to you. The paper discusses a Defense Department Biotechnologies for Health and Human Performance Council. BHPC. Health and Human Performance Council. They have a council for it study group that look at emerging tech that could enhance human biological abilities across many areas of interest to the defense department. So they have a department that makes people stronger. 
Why, do, why don't they put this in the news? They have a department that genetically modify people. Can you believe that? These included technological enhancements to vision, hearing, muscular control, and direct neural enhancement of the human brain for two-way data transfer. Uh, but they are enhancing their vision, hearing, and muscles. Why? Does this sound like a certain movie we've seen with a guy with a, with a plate and then the other guy? And they said here... Now super soldiers could end up being like Captain America in 30 years. So just 30 years, then they can perfect what they're doing. So to some extent, the, they said they're already seeing mankind become more intimate with technology. It's directly from a document I found on the internet. This was approved for release in, in 2000, the 8th of the 10th month, the CIA's. The army has tried to find out. Uncle Sam's Jedi Warriors. In 1984, the US military launched a five month experiment called Project Jedi. Named after the Star Wars Knights, we were able to use the Force to perform unusual feats, including using a weapon blindfolded. It tested the use of Neuro Linguistic Programming, or NLP, as a new way of teaching recruits how to shoot 0.4 caliber pistols. NLP is describing in Project Jedi a specific discipline developed to model human excellence. In Project Jedi, the army carefully dissected the way three expert marksmen behaved during shooting. Their physical moves on the pistol range were carefully documented, and so were their thoughts as they fired. They were asked, when you shoot, what are you saying to yourself? The researchers found, for example, that if they required the marksman to hum, Mary had a little lamb. While they shot, their performance dropped. Some significantly, after gathering all the information, an independent contract developed an experimental training course based on the expert marketing model. 23 recruits were chosen. Some were trained the conventional way, while others learned how to shoot from the experimental training course. Training time was reduced, almost by half, for the experimental group. Although critics within the army also point to some important flaws in the experiment, including different weather and lighting conditions for the two groups, and use of different firing ranges and instructors, all of which could skew the results. So they tried modifying their recruits to the best. Why would they do this? There's, there's nothing going on. There's no wars. 